Thank you very much for joining us uh, with that perspective on uh, a whole range of subjects. 20 points is what the Nifty will end up with, approximately 22,400. Uh, so extremely quiet on the frontline indices. Uh, you know, it, you know, if you're looking for follow through from last Friday's massive move today, of course, was not to be found. A quarter percent of the Nifty Bank as well, a little over 100 points. Uh, the small cap index was down about a half a percent, and the public sector stocks across a range of sectors like oil, steel, metals, etc. Uh, that's the pack which saw a large amount of activity and action. Okay. Well, uh, the advanced decline ratio was negative today. Despite the mid-cap index closing up in the green, the small cap index was down nearly half a percent. And a quick word on the big movers on the way up. It was NTPC, Power Grid. BHEL also rallied close to about 12-13%, but came off from the you know, high session highs. It was up nearly 16%. HDFC Life was shining. ONGC up nearly 7 2%. And on the way down, Aisha Motors, m and on the back of the February sales numbers, JSW Steel, the CLSA downgrade weighing on metals per se. Okay, on the mid-cap side of the market, of course, we've had a negative breath, no denying that. Only 760 stocks advancing, over 1,500 declining. But uh, the gainers, uh, uh, you know, did uh, feature a lot of PSUs. So, Sale, NMDC, these are the stocks, BEL. They stood out in the uh, in the broader market as well. BHL, of course, we've been discussing, but some correction on railway stocks today. Railtel, RBNL down between three, three and a half, four percent. So that's uh, the kind of uh, sort of end that we've had. Zagel, uh, the stock we were just discussing, is ending with a gain of almost six percent. Bit quiet on the mid cap side of the market. Well, with that, we're out of time on this edition of Closing Bell. Thank you very much for being with us. But don't go anywhere because Markets Forward is coming up next.